Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I just got back from the Florida Keys last night, or actually this morning. We had a 10 hour delay in Miami, which was lots of fun. But I'm gonna put together a series of videos. I hope they turn out, out all right, and I hope you enjoy them. Thanks. <music> stayed in Marathon Key, which is in the middle of the Keys, and while I was down there, I rented a 25-foot sea chaser, and in this video, I'll show you where I went and what I did on the boat. I'll explain in, in detail. Um, we The one day, we went to a sandbar and hung out, and we did a little bit of reef fishing, too. Um, unfortunately, the weather wasn't very cooperative. Um, I was going to rent the boat for the week, but I ended up only doing two days. So it's better than nothing now. So let's start off by showing you where I stayed. Okay, guys. So you can see this is the pretty much the entire keys. Okay, up top you got Key Largo, Isla Morada, down low, south you got Key West, and right in the middle is Marathon, and this is where we stayed, Marathon Key. So if we zoom in here, you can see a body of water right here that goes from the Gulf of Mexico over here to the Atlantic, and this body of water is called Vega Cut. Okay, and we pretty much stayed right on Vega Cut, almost. Uh, zoom in a little bit more. This point right here is called Golf Point. And actually, there's a Golf Point 1. Zoom in a little bit more. There's a Golf Point 1, which is right here, and a Golf Point 2, which is here. If you stay at a Golf Point 1, you got these docks. You got access to these docks. If you stayed at Gulf Point 2, you got access to these docks. So, I will say that it was kind of a pain in the butt when the wind was blowing to get in here. It gets a little tight, and I don't like the way the docks were situated. Um, it made me nervous when it got really windy. So... <coughs> So I, if, if I had my choice, I probably wouldn't go back here and stay here if I had a boat. Uh, usually when we go down, we stay on a canal. Uh, we decided to give this a try this time. It, it worked out, um, but I think next time we're going to go back to uh, staying on a canal. So let me zoom out again. So we came out here on the boat around and worked our way down through Vega Cut. To get out to the Atlantic okay and you got to be careful here there's some shallow water so pay attention to the markers and stay within the markers zoom out um, you know there's markers through here you got to make sure that you, you stay within them if you come out here it's shallow and you're gonna destroy the boat same with up in here so you come out and you hang in here until you get to a certain point and then you can start cutting out to um, deeper into the Atlantic and we went out a couple miles you can see these reefs these are like patch reefs okay there's certain areas where you're not allowed to fish but you get to a certain point there's like two parallel lines out here and you can fish before or after them they're, they're trying to protect the reef so we went out and anchored out here and did okay, caught some fish. I want to show you one more thing. We came down here and you can see these, this here's sandbars. That's the Marathon sandbar. That's where a lot of boats will anchor up. And it's pretty much right out from this Curry Hammock State Park. Okay, that's where the 
that's where the sandbar is. So that was that was pretty cool. There's the end of Vega Cut where it opens up to the Atlantic. For bigger fish to show up in the chump slick. Oh, yeah, there's a bigger one. Oh, there's yellow tail down there. Yeah, yeah, there's yellow tail down there. They're coming out. They're coming out. All right, finally we got some calm water going. And uh, we got the chum bag out. And I'm just gonna, I got a piece of squid on. I'm letting it go out with the, the chum. And let's see what hits. I don't see any yellowtail yet. But there's Ballyhoo behind us. Ballyhoo? Ballyhoo? Ballyhoo. Cow's got fish on. Looks like as small as it is. It ain't that small. Those, those Bermuda chubs get pretty big. They can get big. Flip it over. See if you can. Can get them up. Come in and at them. There, I got a net right here. Wow, Ballyhoo are showing up. Ballyhoo are showing up. Here, get them up here and I'll. Can you eat these? People do. <laughs> Whoop. You got to get them up here. There you go. Get them. <laughs> I'm trying to fill them in net. You gotta bring them up to me. Oops, there you go. There you go, bud. It's not bad. Oh, there's a hit. Come back. I mean, I don't know. There's fish on. What do we got here? Another grunt. I'm grunt heaven. Yeah, it's pretty big for a grunt. Son, I think you better call your mom and tell her you're not going to be home for supper. Oh, what movie? Ah, uh, pliers. Wrong. Right. You like a good one? Mm. Rod Ben. Perch. Yeah, it's funny. You can't tell what's big salt enough. water, everything hits big. I mean, there's a bend on it. That's a chub. That's another chub. <laughs> Dead. 
Dude, that's a mangrove. That's a uh, snapper. That's a snapper. Fish hey, on. What do we got now? What do you got, Tal? Dad, watch mine behind you. I'm watching it. Whatever it is, take the mess that you got. Blue? That looks like. I don't know. I don't know my saltwater fish what all that great. That? What a big grunt. Oh, it's a parrotfish. Oh. Cool. It's a parrotfish. I'm stuck. What the heck is that? Cool. He's a weird looking guy. Yeah. Yeah. Look at those teeth. Alright, put the rod down. And uh, pick it up and show the camera and then... Is there anything on here that can kill me I, in any way? No, I think it's, he's, he's alright. Just gotta pick Other it up. Other than it's huge teeth. Yeah. And that. It's been kind of sharp. Grab the tail on the head. That's all. Cool. Alright, put him back. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, it's like a parasite my or something. Fish, my rod now. You gotta pay attention out here. Tal caught a little grouper. Cool. Got pliers. Good job, buddy. I'll get them off for you. Here. I'm grabbing right. my hand anywhere near them teeth. Grab this and I'll throw it off. I'll get it off for you. Come on. Little grouper. Do it again, Tal. Um, I brought some small hooks too. Huh? Oh yeah, they're everywhere. Oh look, sea turtle. Yeah. See that? Look at that sea turtle out there. Joy, there's a sea turtle. All right, get that live already now. Oh, it's like the live. Oh man, they all all got off except for this one. Don't let that one go. See that? Got one on now. We're putting him on whole live. That's a yellow tail. Yeah. Nah, nah, what is that? It's, a, it's, a, it's called a, uh, is it a blue runner? This is a blue runner. Uh, nah. I think people use them as bait though. We're putting him on shark bait. Is it blue? Let's see. Yes. <laughs> Dude, we're gonna get more battle here for both tonight. There they are. That's right on. Is that some bait or bait, what? Bait, yeah, bait. See, there's, there's things that are eating the bait out there too. There, I got one. Way better. With, uh, yeah, throw him in the live well, Cal. Is his nose pointing? Yeah. No. Just put it here, throw him in. Oh, man. Just stick him on. Oh, that's a net. We're going to get a bunch of these. Ah! Ah! Man. Yeah. Wipe your hands off in the water. Yeah, they, they poop on you. They poop on you. Going up on a sandbar. Marathon sandbar. We're gonna anchor the boat and get out and have some fun. Just like those people. Mama, why don't you get in the water? I'm coming, I need to get warm first. <laughs> Marathon sandbar. Get in the water, Chrissy.
show you because I remember this. So I remember this moment. in there. tracks it attracts all the the bait fish and when you got all the bait fish coming in the, the big ones are coming after them so we did a one night we did night fishing here and uh, we caught some some fish some snapper and a couple other things it was it was pretty fun we gonna go night fishing we can go night fishing now we're gonna do some night fishing. I got some ballyhoo in here that we caught earlier today on the reef. And uh, <coughs> um, we're gonna actually um, cut them up. So. There's a blue light off the docks, and I'm just going to use some ballyhoo chunks and see what bites. We got something good on here. What is this? What is this? Oh, yeah. Good mangrove. That's a good one. Good mangrove. Oh, yeah. Lobster. Wow. There's no uh, nothing on here. Dead. Dead. Yeah. There's nothing on here. There it is. Mr. Barracuda. I've never like actually seen one. Oh. Is that your first one? Yeah, I caught them. I mean, I caught them small like this before. Is that a big one? Let me. Uh, no, nah, I've I've had, I've been broken off by the big ones. Yeah, so. Uh, uh, I don't know. Mangrove. Mangrove? I can't see. That was, that was hit hard, huh? That's a mangrove. Here, give them up here. It's crazy for its size. Don't reel anymore. Just flip them up. Yeah, it's not that big, but it fought hard, huh? I gotta watch this. <laughs> that watch that gill too. Yeah. yeah. It's not quite big enough, but fun to catch. Get, go get his uh, big brother. Here's a look at the 
off point one docks. station or a big cooler ice it's convenient so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Keep in mind that I'm still learning the water down in the Keys. I'm still learning to be a better saltwater fisherman for that matter. Um, but if you have a, a question on uh, the boat that I rented or the area that we stayed in or just a question in general, leave a comment and um, I'm pretty good at getting back to you. Um, fairly quick so I'll have a couple more fishing videos from this trip coming out from my keys trip but uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, continue to like and subscribe to my channel thanks